All right, so the last idea that we're going to discuss, which is related to fiscal policy, is called the Laffer Curve, okay? And so the Laffer Curve helps us when we're trying to answer the question, should tax rates be raised or lowered? Now, you may see in the news all kinds of arguments. You'll have people arguing that, oh, we should raise taxes or, oh, we should lower taxes, okay? And the Laffer curve gives us a piece of information that can help us consider whether raising or lowering taxes is a good idea. Now, the first thing we got to do is I want you to understand a basic algebraic formula. And here's what we're going to say. The tax revenue that is re received by the government, okay, so how much money the government gets in taxes is going to be equal to the percentage tax rate times the overall income of everybody in the economy. Okay, so to make this simple, uh, let's just say for the sake of argument that the tax rate is 10%, and let's say income in the economy is I don't know, 13 uh, trillion dollars. Therefore, the government will collect 1.3 trillion dollars in tax revenue. Okay? Very simple idea. Now, mathematically speaking, there is an obvious argument. Okay? I'm going to put the obvious argument and conclusion. All right, here we go. Lowering the tax rate will decrease tax revenue. All right, lowering the tax rate will lower tax Revenue, okay, that makes sense. If income is 13 trillion and we lower the tax rate to, to 9%, then the tax revenue will be less than $1.3 trillion, right? Similarly, increasing the tax rate, obviously, will increase tax revenue, or let's say raising the tax rate raising the tax rate will increase tax revenue. I meant here, instead of saying lower, I meant to put the word decrease. I like the word increase and decrease. They're good words. They're mathematical words. So if we lower the tax rate, we will decrease, tax revenues will decrease. Okay. If we raise the tax rate, tax revenues will increase, right? That's it seems obvious given this linear equation here, okay? Linear equation. So if we raise the tax rate to 11% and income is $13 trillion, then tax revenue will be more than $1.3 trillion. Seems mathematically sound. But Laffer, this guy Laffer, he argued that raising the tax rate enough will actually decrease income. So Laffer argued that raising the tax rate enough will decrease tax revenues. Well, actually, it will, what it will do is it will decrease income first and then tax revenue, okay? What he's saying is this, he's arguing that there is a negative relationship between tax revenue, or between the tax rate, that a rate, a raising, raising the tax rate will lead to a decrease in income in the economy. Meaning the higher the tax rate, the less money that people will actually make out there in the economy. Not the less money that they'll take home. I mean, they will literally go to work 
less. Let me make let me let me show you. Let's make this argument with the Laffer curve. Okay, so I'm going to draw a graph here. It's sort of the the coordinate plane. This is zero zero. The vertical axis is tax revenue. That's how much money that the government gets. Okay, the government how much money the government has to spend on its policies and programs. Okay. Over here is the tax rate. Now, the assumption is that if the government just keeps increasing the tax rate, that tax revenues will increase, increase, increase. But that's not the case. See, let's, let's say because the tax rate, it's a percentage, so down here is going to be 0%. And let's over here, maybe right here, put 100%. Now, Theoretically speaking, you could go higher than 100%, but practically speaking, the highest tax rate the government could have is 100%. Okay? So here's what we're looking at. At 0%, you don't have to pay any taxes at all. At 100%, you have to give your whole paycheck to the government. Now, we know that if they charge 0% tax rate, tax revenues will be zero. Because if the tax rate is zero, income can, can be any number. Zero times income is zero tax revenues. So we know that on the Laffer curve, it's going to start at zero, zero. Now, as, as we increase the tax rate, as this number starts going up from zero, we're going to multiply that times whatever income is in the economy, and we're going to have a positive number. Tax revenues are going to go up. So we know that an increase in the tax rate, as we go up to 1%, 2%, 3%, 4%, that tax revenues will go up. However, what if they increase the tax rate to 100%? That means that you and me and every single person working in the economy, we would have to give all of our money to the government. We wouldn't have any money for ourselves to go out to dinner, to pay our rent, to buy a car or anything. We would have no money. And the question is, if you knew you weren't going to have any money, would you even work? Now, the answer for me is no. If I know I'm not going to have any money at all, I'm not going to work. And if I don't work, then in, and if everybody else in the economy says the same thing, yeah, if they're taking all my money from me, I'm not going to work. There's no point in working. I'm not actually going to have any money. Therefore, Laffer argued that as the tax rate approaches 100%, income will approach zero. And therefore, at a 100% tax rate, income will be zero, and zero times 100% is zero. Therefore, the other side of the Laffer curve lands at 100% and zero. And so it must be to go from here over to here that the graph must increase, but then at some point reach a high point and then come back down. And so, actually, I, sort of, I probably drew this poorly. I would imagine it probably looks a little more like this. There we go. And so, here's what Laffer argued. He argued that raising the tax rate enough, if you keep raising the tax rate enough, eventually people will work less and tax revenues will decrease. And therefore, there is an optimal tax rate that maximizes tax revenue and still keeps people motivated to increase their income. Now, on the Laffer curve, that would be the point where tax revenue is at its highest. Let's see if I can get this in here. Let's 
See if I can find the maximum point here. Looks like it's right about there. There we go. And so this represents, so this represents the maximum tax or maximum revenue. This is the most revenue that the government could earn in this particular time period. That if they want higher revenues than this, raising taxes isn't going to make that happen. Now, they could increase it if they were able to get people to increase their income. But the maximum revenue is achieved at what we're going to call an optimum tax rate or an optimal optimal tax rate. And this is what Laffer was arguing, that there is an optimal tax rate somewhere between 0% and 100% that will give, that will maximize tax revenue. And when that happens, when we're at this tax rate, people are still motivated to earn more income. And that is good for the government and it is good for the people. Okay? And now here are the conclusions. This is the conclusion of this idea of uh, the Laffer curve. All right, first conclusion. Sometimes lowering the tax rate can result in increased tax revenue. And sometimes raising the tax rate can result in decreased tax revenue. And that those circumstances occur when the current tax rate, if the current tax rate is greater than the optimal tax rate. Okay? So if the tax rate, so I don't know, let's say the optimal tax rate, I'm just making stuff up here. Let's say the optimal tax rate is 40%, okay? Then, if the tax rate is set at 45%, if we're at 45%, you can see that the economy is resulting in lower tax revenue. And originally we said, duh, if this is our formula, then lowering the tax rate is going to decrease tax revenue, and raising the tax rate will increase tax revenue. Well, this is only going to happen if, if the tax rate, if the tax rate is less than the optimal tax rate. See, if we're down here, if the tax rate is down here, let's say at 33%, then increasing the tax rate, sure enough, will increase tax revenue. But if we're over here on the other side of the, ma of the maximum of the Laffer curve, over here, if you increase the tax rate, look what's going to happen to tax revenues. They're going to go down. And if you decrease the tax rate, I'll do this one in orange. If we decrease the tax rate, revenues actually go up. And so those are the main conclusions of the Laffer curve. It's important for you to understand this Laffer curve. The idea that it is possible for the government to raise the tax rate so much that people become less motivated to earn income and revenues for the government go down. And that is the Laffer curve.